Hey, Choom. Today, we're checking out the 200 BX Evo by Kebernaut. This is probably the most cyberpunk 2077-ish vehicle I've ever seen in BeamNG Drive. It's almost unrecognizable as a 200 BX. And today, we're going to test it out, crash it a lot, and take it to the car jump arena. If you enjoy this stuff and you want to see more, make sure to hit that like button down below and subscribe if you haven't already. And with that, let's jump right in. All righty, so here we are, the 200 BX Evo. Like I said, this is basically unrecognizable. Look at the back end of this car. My goodness, that light bar is amazing. We have a light bar going across the entire car in the front and the back, as you can see in the front here. I don't, what happens if we turn the lights? Oh, okay. So they just get brighter. <laughs> this now this is the track version there's actually three different versions uh of this car we have the track version the evo the normal one i guess and then one with no vents i guess a cleaner ventless look with blue headlights hold on i gotta see these blue headlights hold up i mean i guess it's kind of blue but when you turn it up it's pretty much the same probably wouldn't be legal if we actually had blue headlights now that i i really think about it yeah, can we please figure out a way to get this thing into Cyberpunk as a car mod? I would drive the heck out of this thing. I would daily it. If we take a look on the inside as well, we have a custom UI for the dash screens as well. Tells us how much time worth of gas we have, I guess. And you can see the connectors to the uh, to the gearbox as well. This is this is really cool. But yeah, let's get this thing out on the road and see how she drives. I'm going to turn the lights on just because I love looking at that those uh, brake lights here. Oh, so cool. <laughs> Do we have anything like this in real life? I'm sure it probably exists now. Okay, maybe like an Audi, I feel like, would do something like this. Oh, this is fast. This is very fast. This is like the base model of this thing, too. 130 miles an hour with not even trying, and we're going to get some air here. Uh-oh. <laughs> Oh, no, I don't want to wreck this thing. It's so pretty. Oh, man. Did we have a roll cage in here? I don't think so. Oh, there goes our bumper. <laughs> oh, buddy, this almost it almost feels like a, a, a drift car. The back end of this thing is a very, very slidey boy. Oh, my goodness. I cannot control this thing to save my life. Nice recovery, though. There we go. Whoa, how did we end up at the track? Well, you know, since we're at the track, mostly. Wait, are we on the track? Yeah, since we're at the track, we might as well try the uh, the track version as well. I imagine this one's probably going to be quite a bit faster. I mean, look at the wing on this thing. My goodness, man. Oh, that sounds so good. <laughs> Does it done this? It just looks so futuristic, man. Uh oh, that's a turn. I think I'm going on the track the wrong way. Oh, Jesus. Where is the straightaway? That's where I think we can probably get the most speed here. Oh, sorry. Let's see. I think what this thing can. This thing looks like it could probably hit 200 miles an hour. So let's give it a shot here. 100 miles an hour. 140. Yeah, it's pretty quick. It's pretty quick. 160. Very quickly running out of road here. You know I'm probably not going to be able to slow down. 180 miles an hour. No, 183 is where we topped out on a West Coast USA. <laughs> oh, man. Not looking good for this thing. I wanted to point out the uh, wheels on this thing. It's unlike any wheel I've seen in this game before. Like, look how concave these bad boys are. This doesn't happen very often, but man, I really wish this was a real car because I would <laughs> because I would buy this basically the instant millisecond it went on sale. Good God, it looks so good. Like that one, is it Hyundai? Who has that like concept car that looks very cyberpunky? I'll have it on the screen right here, but it kind of reminds me of that thing. Here, we'll try this, uh, this run again on the highway. I think we got a little more room to work with here because I really do think this thing can probably hit 200 miles an hour if I really wanted to. And I, if I had enough road, that's the main thing. I just need enough road. Here we go. There's the screen. That's <laughs> really cool. And I love mods that add like custom UI elements like that. Anyway, here we go. 170. We got to get going. We got a lot of road, but we are going to run out. 180. 
190. Yes, I think we're going to do it, baby. Come on, 198. 200 miles an hour. There we go. And we are not going to have time to stop. Oh, God. We're going to be annihilated. <laughs> so there's what running into a, uh, a wall at 200 miles an hour is going to do to your car. My goodness, man. Just instantly burst into flames. You're 100% dead. All right, let's check out the uh, the other one. Just regular Evo. Beautiful yellow and sequential signals. Wait, what? Oh, oh what do I have my my turn signals uh, binded to? I want to see the sequential turn signal. Excuse me as I go through my controls. It's, it's just not a control I use very often, you know? Brake, bang, but clutch, shift up, first gear, first gear, ignition. No, no, no. Headlights, no. Oh, okay. It's comma and the period button. Okay, so let's try this. Oh, <laughs> yes, I was hoping it would have a sequential uh, turn signal like that. That's awesome. Now, one other thing I want to see is uh, if I put on the, the hazards, uh, does it do like a full loop around the lights? No, but it does do them both at the same time. Man, imagine if they met in the middle like that. And if the front one was sequential, I guess it is sequential. I can't really hold on. I need to make it nighttime. Oh, yeah, they are. They definitely are. Awesome. Yeah, I know this is very nitpicky, but man, it would be cool if it like did a loop around the lights or it, it completed the loop, I guess, because yeah, that little I know I know it has to be there, but that little one yeah, makes me bad. It's a it's a futuristic car. We could just imagine that the laws are different. But look at that. That's so cool. I love custom lighting, man. All right. So let's go to grid map because I just want to do a straight out uh, speed test on that track version. Now, I know we could hit 200, but now I'm curious. Ah, uh, what's the limit here? How fast can we actually go if we put our mind to it? I'm guessing 240 miles an hour is probably where we're going to top out. Maybe a little bit less, but what do you think? Let me know down below in the comments, but here we go. Basically, all I got to do is push the gas pedal and wait, baby. All right, there's 200 miles an hour. So now we go up from here. It's a slow process, but we are, we are continuing to go faster, so... Something is screaming. What is that noise? <laughs> Ooh, I thought I thought we'd go a little faster than this, but it seems like the hard limit is 210 miles an hour, which is still incredibly fast. Brakes are catching on fire. <laughs> we slowed in a we came to a stop in under a mile, so that's pretty good. But now my question is, how is this cyberpunk a car? gonna fare on the car jump arena let's find out all righty so let's get this thing spawned up uh, any guesses i think we can probably get past the 500 mark maybe even closer to 600 i'm gonna guess around the 600 mark oh that was a bad entry though i want to give it the best go it can so let's start here and ease into it and once we feel the grip then we can put pedal to metal. Oh, this thing's so slidey though. Good God. Come on, come on. Just give me the give me the grip. Give me the grip. That's all I ask. There you go. There you go. We got it. 190, 204 miles an hour. Beautiful launch. Straight as a board. Flying past the 500. Past the 550. It's looking like about 575 meter so i wasn't too far off on that one that was almost a perfect that was uh, you know i would say that was pretty much a perfect car jump arena launch the stability in the air let's do it one more time the stability in the air was just perfection couldn't ask for much more uh than that well yeah let's i want to see this again we need more bots for the 200 bx we need it we need a remaster a remake bbg bot uh devs it's time, baby. There we go. Another perfect launch. Ooh. <laughs> I hate crashing this thing. It's so pretty. But it has to be done in the name of science. And into the pool we go. So this has been the 200BX Evo. I think this thing is so cyberpunk looking. It's really, really awesome. I'll have the link to this thing down below. Check it out. Support uh the mod developers because this is awesome man we need more stuff like this anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure the like button and subscribe if you haven't already because i upload beam and g videos pretty much daily and you don't want to miss it man you're missing out if you're not subscribed anyway i hope you guys have a great day i'll see you in the next one Bye bye